In Nakacho, we are here to cool down, stay cool. It is a, a very hot day, nothing like the, what's going on in the US and Europe right now where the temperatures are record breaking. 104 degrees in some places, Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius perhaps. This is Narita-san, which is a, uh, um, a temple here. We're gonna go, or is this a shrine, this one? We're gonna walk down this street and I'll take you to a, a, a cafe where we're gonna get some iced coffee and then some gelato because they have some nice stuff in this area. That's Narita San Fudodo, I believe it is. It's a, I think that's a Shinto shrine. Cause when you see a Tori, that's a shrine. Tori gate. How you doing everybody? It is a hot one. Uh, joining me on the stream today is a man who is lost. He's a tourist with a backpack and a straw hat. Kind of sticks out like a sore thumb in a place like this. It's taller than most people. He likes to think slightly cooler. And he'll be joining me for coffee because I owe him. I owe him a coffee, a gelato, and lunch. And this is the best way to cool down. Uh, the we had a heat wave about three, four weeks ago in Tokyo. It was awful. 45 degrees fair, uh, Celsius, which is hotter than what you get in the US. The temperature, how yeah. you doing? Good, good, how are you? I'm doing good. That's so bright. So the temperature during that heat wave, you were here for that. Yeah. Was that hot? That was like 45 degrees Celsius, right? Which heat wave? Oh, when in you were Tokyo. in America? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the highest temperature? Was uh, it, it was, yeah, low low to mid, uh, maybe low 40s. So hotter than the US right now? Yeah. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. Um, it was very hot. It was very hot. Peter helped me out yesterday with a, with a um, a job and his reward is iced coffee gelato lunch and i'm probably still and not whatever done. else you guys think i should ask <laughs> whatever for, else you think i should for demand do not demand anything this this is a great place to come because one there's not a lot of tourists and it's mostly local and number two there's loads of omiyage and and very traditional local types of shops here mm. yeah, it's That's a cool street very chillaxing uh, Takai writes in here, 110 degrees Fahrenheit in Texas, which is wow. That's pretty hot. That's smoking Can hot. Fry an egg that's on barbecue. the barbecue. You don't even need to start the charcoal. I know. Oh, thank goodness it's open. So one many shops there. are closed. This is really cool. Check this out. That's the one I'm talking about. Okay. So finally we arrived. It's been about 30 minutes oh, walking here. Stop your here. complaining. You're getting free coffee. So what I like about this is how these are all residential areas, and then they convert their their first floor into a shop, restaurant, or uh, some sort of cafe. This is a cafe. Yeah. I'm so go yeah, go in and get, get get a couple of uh, cold ones. Okay. Whatever you think is best with the cash that's been given. I don't cold expect change. Caffeine but, ones. Yeah, I don't expect any change back, but yeah, it you, would be nice. But I don't expect it. Yeah, don't plan on it. Don't plan on it. All right. <laughs> Hat in hand. Don't plan on it. That's what he said. Oh wow, look, they got a, a little teeny table in the corner here. So we can stake this out. And Peter's inside there, he's ordering the coffee. I like this, this is a, a local coffee shop. Um, something we always do is try to do the, uh, support the local businesses here. Uh, while he's getting the coffee, I'm gonna just take you over here and get a quick look at uh, the Narita Fudodo Shrine. And during the New Year's holiday, when people come for um, the first year's, the New Year's prayer, there's a line, quite a line to get out the door here for people to do that. Uh, the last couple of last couple of years hasn't been as crazy, but it can get pretty crazy here. Um, this street here to the right is full of festival foods. I came here for New Year's last year, or sorry, this year I was here for New Year's to welcome in 2022 and it was full of street food and hopefully we'll have that again next uh, next New Year's because that's just so awesome. Another way to stay cool here is to eat uh, suika or watermelon and well, these big ones here. That's 20, no, 2,000 yen or I guess with the exchange rate maybe $16. Or... That's from Kumamoto Prefecture down in the south and these here. You can get a one-sixth cut of this for 350 yen. Pretty good deal. We might have to do that. 
because that's a way to stay cool. And of course, we all know Japan is loaded with vending machines. This is how we stay cool <laughs> if we need to. They're refrigerated and they come out super cold. So you get all sorts of drinks. They start turning the heat on in the vending machines around, um, I don't know, no, um, October. You, you start to see, you can get hot coffee. Do you want to sit in the sun or the shade, sir? Let's sit in the shade here. So, so how are you doing? You you surviving the heat wave here? Yeah, I'm surviving surviving it very nicely with my cravat, Mrs. Dog cravat. Oh Good yeah. For this, um, it's a cool towel. Yeah, my my mom not Kanai Mrs. Dog, but my my Don't mom Mrs. Dog. The original Mrs. Dog. At that for Peter. And you didn't get a, a you didn't get an iced coffee. Yeah. I like, I like How you stay cool? Well, must my my uh, Mrs. Dog provide. Ah. So Mon's Mon's Cafe here in Monza Nakusho is quite famous locally, and it's a great place to cool down with a nice coffee or a hot coffee. Really? If you have a, do you call it a cravat or like an ascot? I don't know. Ask the chat. Does anyone Maybe know what what they're called? I need to retie it though, actually. Uh, you can put it on your head and use it like a toothache. You know, if you have a toothache. Just saying. N n Just saying. You're part of the team here. Yeah. Um. <laughs> My mom was like, yeah. make sure Peter doesn't forget that he's American. <laughs> Go buy a cold beer. Just kidding. Iced coffee is best drink in hot weather. <laughs> Read one. Thank you, but you don't have to kid because that's something we could possibly do if we, if we well, see something I'm out on, on the street. Today. You're on the scooter today. That's something I could possibly do. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what. We're gonna do that when we get to Hokkaido. That's for sure. At the oh, end of the day. Absolutely. At the end of the day. Yeah. It's a lot of them. Yeah. Um, Speaking of, we're one week away. Today's the twenty-first, I believe. Really? Oh my you gosh, the 28th week. in the morning. The flights, I, I, I went on ANA to look at the flights for the d domestic flights to Hokkaido. They're all booked. Because wow. we, uh, we wanted to change it to a later flight coming back. We couldn't do it. They're all wait listed. So I'm glad we booked in advance, first of all. And it looks like despite the seventh wave that they have here, people are going to be traveling anyways. We have to be really careful before the trip. That's why we're doing uh, lunch and coffee before noon. But I don't think there's a lot of people out and about in this neighborhood anyways. Not in this heat either. Not in this yeah. heat. What do you usually do to stay cool? Besides, you know. My, having one of these towels? Yeah. Um, I stay indoors. And uh, when I'm on my bike, I ride my scooter a lot going between studios. So I got this from Uniqlo. For those of you who don't know Uniqlo, it's a chain. It's, it's a massive chain. Is that how it's pronounced? Uniqlo? Uniqlo. Unique clothing. It originated in Fukuyama. Isn't it Hiroshima. Uniqlo? No. Uniqlo. Uniqlo? Is it Uniqlo? I don't Call know. what you want. But um, it's a chain of affordable clothing. And uh, occasionally they have some pretty cool stuff. Fast fashion. So I got this. <coughs> yeah, fast fashion. So I got this UV block hoodie. And I like to wear this when I ride my scooter or motorcycle um, when it's hot out, because otherwise it's just your arms and things get fried. You can wear a t-shirt under it. So that's how one way I stay cool on the bike. It's not, it's not hard to stay cool on a bike. Well, it is, though. And you're going to find out if it's hot in Hokkaido. Seriously, is it? Is it? Mm. Well, yeah, if you get caught in traffic, your helmet's black. It's a big your brain. Oh, I do have a black helmet. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're a week out from the trip. <laughs> you got the Yamaha to take the train back. <laughs> He'd have to leave his bike at yeah, my house, and that he doesn't have a permit to park there. 
Um, I don't even have a permit to park there. We have a lot of planning still to do. So I'm, the reason I came over here today is to uh, BMW Pure, or what do you say? Something about BMWs. A BMW 90 Pure or Kawasaki Z900. Hmm, good question. I'd have to go with, I think I'd like to try that Kawasaki yeah. 900. That sounds fun. Anything with a Z in it, right? Yeah, X. the classic X Kawasaki's Z. also the, the Z900, man. Question for the viewers What is the coolest letter in the alphabet? And you can't use the one that's in your name, like like J for John or P for Peter. It's it's gotta be like X or Z, right? What about uh, Elon Musk's kid? What's his name? It's like X. That's Z seven hundred or something like that. So Z seven. He named his kid a model number. The name of an airplane, I think, a fighter jet. You can do that when you're the richest man on earth. Anything um, you want. But so I came over here to meet John to help him set up his helmet so we have to wire in the communication device all right we're going to try that out camera, today hook up your your gopro mounts and get that all integrated test it so we're all ready to go one week from today oh hey new backer ludwig thank you ludwig just back hey, ludwig. Uh, nine thousand yen oh, excellent Very thank cool. you so much it's, everyone's writing in the letters here rose writes in z ryan writes in i jacqueline x that's cool. Yeah, Bri what's... Brian writes in here S E X Y, not an accident. <laughs> in that order? Yeah. V C X. <laughs> Ridwan Z. Jacob writes K for Kai. Cobra Kai. That's a good. Scott writes in Q. That's interesting. I like Q. They're from James Bond, you know. Yeah. Quartermaster. Um, Mia writes in Y. Victor Z. Jacob K. Some cool letters in here. P wasn't one of them for Peter. Sorry. Do you have a favorite uh, Japanese katakana? That's hard. Favorite katakana. I like the yo. Yeah, the yo's kind of. The yo's like a backwards e. So, I like the one I just saw. I just took a picture of it. You don't uh, use the katakana yo very often, right? Yeah. Agree. Who can tell us what this is? Yeah, right. Okay. Your, your hand's shaking like Putin. <laughs> well, I'm balancing. <laughs> does Putin shake? <laughs> yeah, he does. Right. Sorry. <clears throat> it says. I'll hold it back here so I can. I can. I, everybody got it. It's it's pa. P A. Not Po. It's not Po. Yeah. Pa. Pa. Or the start for pants. Is it pants? Pa. Pants. Pa. Pants. Pa. Pa. Why did that come up? I don't know, because I, I was oh. searching for pants. On the street here? No, riding pants. We oh. have to get uh, rain wear. Mm. Um, tell, them about, tell them about the rain wear. Yeah, so, we, 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 have, we have to, because this Hokkaido uh, motorcycle trip's coming pretty fast, and thanks for backing it, I've seen you get a couple of uh, notifications. If, if you do back it now, I will call it out during the live stream. And don't cancel your pledge and re-pledge for that. Some people do that. <laughs> and by the way, add-ons are available. You can add more Tenugui and uh, um, Echo Bags as well, if you, if you weren't able to before. You, you got that, that sorted out? With, it's, with postcard backers too? Yeah, the postcard backers. We can, this, can add on. Those card backers can't add on. Okay, I have an idea, on. but we'll talk about that afterwards. Okay. Um, so we have to get a, a bunch of new gear, and we got um, saddle bags or something. What do you call them? Yeah, dry bag. Dry bags for the back, and uh, a cargo net. Mine hasn't come in yet. Uh, and then we had to get rain gear, and the rain gear that we got ordered from Amazon, it said that between 175 and 185 centimeters, this is their one for you. But when it came, it was like made for a sumo wrestler at 190 centimeters, and we had to return it. Uh, my returning to Amazon was very painless. Yours was painful. I, 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 I haven't put it. You haven't, you haven't put, put it in yet? yet? I, well, I usually take it to the convenience store, and I end up paying. I'm supposed to get reimbursed, right? 
Did you did you use a chocobata like a, a no. cash on delivery slip? I, let me show you, tell you the system how you return things in Japan via Amazon. It's so simple. All right. Everywhere in every neighborhood, there is a uh, kuroneko. There's a delivery service. They now wheel it in in the big cities. They have carts, so they don't use gasoline or something. Bic bicycle yeah. with a little trailer behind There's it. There's one down the street from me. So Amazon gives when I decide I'm going to return something, Amazon gives me a QR code. That's it. And I get a QR code. I, I take it that item to the kuroneko to the office. I scan the QR code next to this printer. It prints out the receipt. I hand it to the woman and I'm, I leave. Because when I when I try I don't to pay for anything, when I return, return something, it says print out print out uh, shipping label or whatever. Is there another option? No, you chose you, you didn't choose wisely. You choose. I've been doing this for a long time. I always print out print out the label. You can also have them come pick it up at your house without any additional cost, and you don't have to even leave the house because if you have uh, if you're sick, you don't want to. Right. Have right. to return it, so the, they'll come and pick it up for me. You, so yeah, yeah that, that saves a lot of trouble. I'll do that. Everything is QR code. They scan it, print out. She said thank you. I didn't pay for anything, and uh, done. And, we, and then we ordered a size smaller because although we're not sumo wrestlers, we are bigger than normal people. Yeah. Shoulder. So wise. we ended up with shoulder XLs and arm length. That look long arms compared to. It's, I, I can't get any clothes with shoulders big enough, so if you're a Westerner and you're looking for clothing, you got to order from abroad, or you got to get extra That's large. Yeah, well, like at Uniqlo, Uniqlo, they have, they would fit you, t-shirts would fit you, XL. Yeah, I, I take a medium in the U.S., XL is for thicker people, so there's a lot more give in the gut that I don't want, maybe now. But now you need it. Hey. So, I mean, I'd rather have a medium, um, which is not as tight, which is a little bit tighter, less material. I, I don't know. It's a compromise, I guess. So you can show your six-pack through the it's, shirt. It's now like a, a two-pack if I'm sitting. <laughs> Folds over. <laughs> Folds over. Not pleasant. Scott Tan, John, get yourself a drink. Thank you, Scott. Boom. Did you say, John, get yourself a personal trainer? Is that what he wrote? In not so many words, yeah. Uh, hey, Jennifer French is here. How you doing? Thank you, Lisa, for pointing that out. Whenever Jennifer's here, we get a little bit happier. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, yeah, the, the heat is expected to continue here in Tokyo because we're now getting into August, and I, I really hope it doesn't rain next week during the trip. Yeah. I'd like to have this weather happen, right? Okay? Well, it rarely gets humid in Hokkaido. That's the reason why it's people travel to Hokkaido. Right. Um, um, as I mentioned, one of my streams the other day, like for, for motorcycle riders in, the, in America, everybody likes to go to Sturgis for the motorcycle rally. Oh. But in Japan, people go to Hokkaido in the summertime, and they go there year after year after year. They, when their vacation time comes, they jump on a ferry, most of them, and they take their own bike to Hokkaido. And I've done that two times, um, where I got on a ferry. It's an overnight ferry, which is a lot of fun. Where's the closest ferry to Hokkaido? Is it Niigata or Ibaraki? Well, I've done both. I've done one from from Niigata. Um, it Niigata takes you Otaru. To, yeah, Otaru. Yeah. And the other one I did from Tokyo to um, uh, Hokkaido. Oh, no, Tumakumai. Tumakumai, how can I never forget? Um, uh, Tumakumai, yeah. Hey, Shane's here. Hey, Shane. That's an enjoyable way to go there. It just takes more time. So we're flying this time. Yeah, we're flying, and the flight... They, they move, a and moved our, our seats around. So now we both have aisle seats, so we don't have to sit next to one another. Testing our... That'll be the only time <laughs> we're not next to one another. So we get testing our nerves days. before it starts. Um, <laughs> After this live stream, I'm gonna go get. We're gonna go get some gelato now. Hey, Michael has has pledged three thousand yen. Thank you, Michael. That's Michael. the uh, um, uh, documentary, I believe you got. Um, the postcards, by the way. It, do you have a, a picture of Dakota's heart? Yeah. Do you want to show it now? Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. not finished. Uh, Michael, you might want to upgrade to the postcard if, if if you can, just because the design is coming in and it's looking pretty awesome. We're still working out the colors, but I bet you it's gonna be done in a couple of days. 
So, uh, well, not just colors, there's more stuff to be added to it. It's more Easter eggs. Can we show the, uh, the incarnation, like starting with this one? No, no, just go okay, right okay. to the end. All right. Go right to the money shot. Oh, man. Oh, you don't have to zoom in. I can zoom in. All right, you can see he put in the Furano Lavender. We kept it one color because it would have been a little bit insane. There are the bikes. We're still working on the colors in that. Um, the Oni is from Nobori Betsu. We're going to be riding right through that. Actually, we just got up another message from Dakota. The cows, of course, are going to be eating a lot of dairy, which could present other problems. All right, let's just keep that to ourselves. Yeah. Um, trees, we might put some bears in there. I, I noticed the crow over your shoulder. The wizard? He's working on that. I didn't right. notice that until yesterday when... Um, UFO Bob pointed that out. Okay. And then that's, what's the volcano? Yote. Yote-san, which is in right. Niseko, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, it's kind of the uh, Mount Fuji doppelganger. Yeah, now we couldn't, we didn't have space for the melon patches or it would have looked a little bit fake. So we made melon helmets. I have a Ubuddy melon hat helmet and Peter has a, uh, uh, I guess that's a, a dense case. They had suika, maybe it's a watermelon from Asahikawa or something. One of the square ones. No, it's, if it was square, it'd be a square. Uh, so that's going to be the postcard, but it's not even oh, yeah. done. So we're putting in a bunch of Easter eggs in there as well. That's going to make it fun. Toby is, is outlined right there. Um, Zikton night. You can see. So I, can you check the... Oh, okay, okay. I didn't even notice that. Check the line. I think you just sent another update okay, right now. Good. We've been hiring um, Dakota to do art for the Kickstarters for um, a few years now. And it's just always like amazing. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll see if I can get his Instagram. You can check out his artwork. It's so cool. He does it like this ukiyo-e um, style to it, but he can make it... Well, did he fix it up a little bit? Well, I don't know if what's what's changed. Uh, the colors, I think? No. Oh, my jacket. Oh, he changed your jacket and yours to the too. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the jacket I'll be, I'll be wearing. Oh, cool. The jacket I'll be wearing is red and white, the Japanese colors of the flag. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty cool. And yours is black, I believe, but but we're gonna add some gray on there. Black, it just wouldn't show up. Yeah, so. it wouldn't look as good. I had told him do what's what's best for style. Stop shaking like Putin. Come on. Um, Ro uh, I'm so excited about the Chan. trip. You both could use a nice cold kakigori on a hot day like this. Uh, Roboto Chan, can we get gelato with that? Because that's where yeah. we're going next. Here. Arigato so much. That's all right. Okay, yeah. yeah. That yeah, that's gonna be the postcard, and Chan is in the trunk. You may, you may have my permission to have my face peeking out of the saddlebag in lieu of me being in the trunk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun with this trip. Um, I actually uh, we used the, the Insta 360 camera the other day at uh, yesterday. I, I was looking at the pictures that I took. I can't show them publicly, but they're pretty freaking awesome. I got the 360 camera over the side of the top deck 450 plus meters above there pointing down at the window cleaning and you can see the entire city of Tokyo and the tower and I'm, I'm in the back it's it's just an amazing that might be the postcard for next month um, really I can't wait to edit this and upload this episode although there's a queue of like eight other episodes here you want to get the gelato now yeah all right I'm gonna cool down with some Japanese gelato which is actually Italian but when you're in Japan it becomes Japanese And lunch. Oh, right, okay. And whatever else they want you to buy me. Well, what do you want me to buy them? Yeah. Be generous. Sex chain? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. Hang on. You look good with long hair. I used to. I used to have long hair like a hippie? Ish. It was kind of a mullet. Back in the a 80s. A mullet? You had a mullet? Oh yeah. man, I gotta see those shots. I had a, everybody had a mullet in the 80s. Right? By Peter a pony. What? By Peter a pony. 
Where's he? Where would he park it? He's he has problems parking his motorcycle now at home. There's no way he could park it. Thank you. A big shout out to Mons Cafe, M O N Z, in Mons and Nakacho. It's uh, the place to be, and it seems to be somebody, uh, a local business, because their house is above. <laughs> I like that. Is it Mons or Mons? I'm not sure. Mons, maybe. I'll put a link in the description of the video here. Scott Tan, I've been watching YouTube creator Itchy Boots, a woman from the Netherlands traveling through Latin America. I think my dad has as well. He told me about this. Uh, was she on a motorcycle, right? Yeah, I've yeah. seen, I've seen the advertising. Her equipment setup is very sweet. I'm gonna check that out. Thank you, Scott. I'm gonna check that out and see what we can do to, to upgrade the equipment a little bit, maybe. Um, oh, we can go this way. Actually, yeah, let's go this way. I can show you. We gotta cross that that highway at the end there to get the, the gelato place. Thank goodness the elections are over. That's one of the election posters. Oh my gosh, that was... Uh, I came here, I came back from the U.S. right as those elections were uh, uh, finishing up, thank goodness. It's so loud and crazy and... Uh... My favorite, do you have a favorite politician poster? Yeah, I do. The guy with the hair you introduced oh, me to. The, uh... <laughs> he has the best hair in... in uh, I've done shown it a couple times in the live streams at the motorcycle oh, school. It. Yeah, yeah. That guy has, that guy has the best yeah. hair ever. It's like a helmet. He, does he need a helmet? If you were to hairspray that hair, does that replace a helmet? Because it is hard and soft inside, right? Probably would be okay. Yeah. Probably would be okay. How about moose? Does anybody use moose anymore? I used to. Hair wax. I hated it because it was all, it was all, when it hardened, it was like so brittle. Your hair would break off. I like to Pasta. get it hard, but you, I would play with it. So when I was in sixth grade, I would do this moose thing. And then I would just in class, I would pop the crispiness. And so you'd have hair moose fragments all over the desk and floor. But I wasn't the only one. It was a big thing in the 80s. Moose. It was like, like whipped cream for your hair. It was awesome. A little dab will do you. Yeah, hair gels is kind of messy and gooey. Um, hair wax, I did that maybe twice and it felt all waxy. You know what I use now? Sweat. Grime. Oil. From motorcycles. It's got a license. Actually, I gotta got to go to the agency to get the license. You haven't gotten it yet? No, I wouldn't make it time. Hey, you know what? I don't get early. I don't get there early for the Shinkansen. T Look at this guy. So, is that noodles coming out of his nose? What's going on there? That's pretty cool. Is that what you want for lunch? It's a lot cheaper than the option we were talking about coming before. from his nose. I think that makes it better. Some good looking ramen here. Oh, they have a they have a branch in the U.S. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, uh, that look, ruins right it for here. me. Oh, in Oregon. <laughs> They got a branch Oregon. in Oregon? That's Portland. And then, oh, dude, that's... Yeah. Really? Yeah. What time do they open? Philip has pledged 3,000 yen. Thank you, Philip. Thanks, Philip. I'm getting close to... I think we just passed 2.6 million yen. We're getting close to 3 million, and we're going to announce a stretch goal um, pretty we're not, soon. We're not, we're not announcing that stretch goal until, until we get to Hokkaido. Well, yeah, but that's still pretty soon, because the trip's starting in a, less a than week. a week. A week. One week. So at we this time be, in a week, we're going to be on a plane. We'll, we'll be streaming probably at this time. We'll actually, we'll be just be getting our bikes and we'll be, uh, maybe we'll be streaming from the bike shop. Oh, wow. Okay. One week exactly from now. We arrive in Chitose, arrive in Chitose at 11, I think, 9.30, no, 9.30. We go directly to the um, motorcycle shop and uh, talk with them and that's it. This is my favorite alley cool. in Japan. Um, yeah, this is a reason to come to Monzen Nakacho. I'll just show it to you for a second. It's these old Showa era buildings, post-World War II uh, shacks. I love the plants that they put outside. There's a tree here in the corner, very photogenic. It's a, an awesome Instagram shot for your um, Instagram account. This is see. one of the few public restrooms like this that's uh, that's still open and uh, to everybody yeah it's, it's pretty neat we I, i've i've never gone in any of those places though 
Yeah, these probably they all have a seating charge. Yeah, it's like 500 these... yen or something. It's oh well, yeah, yeah. But yeah. for you, maybe a 2,000. <laughs> well, I don't know. But they uh... that bird is lost. He was in the middle of the street before. What makes you think it's the same one? Oh yeah, right. It. He has no friends. He's walking <laughs> aimlessly. Oh, geez. you almost hit your head on this. Look at this. Just, yeah, that you is missed it dangerous. by like this much. Well, that's how I ride my motorcycles too. Yeah. He's just walking aimlessly. Hey, where are your friends? It's like that Mr. Bean and the Man vs. Bee. If he just learned to be friends with the bee instead of trying to kill it, the bee was exactly like him. Look at that McDonald's, man. Look yeah, at this line out the there. door. Holy smokes. People love themselves some Mickey D's. And they're all thin, you know? It's not, not an issue. It's, 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 well, it is the only McDonald's in the neighborhood. Why are we going this way? Because the gelato place is across the street there. We're going back to the bikes. We came here on, on mo bicycles. No, you're wrong. Yeah, this no. That you want to go to you want to go to uh, uh, should uh, um, spit it out. Come on, John. It's that it long out. one. Uh, Shirakawa. Uh, ah, on the Hans one line. Morista. Monte Nakacho. Morista. Oh, it's on this map here. Ah, Kiyosubi Shirakawa. Kiyosubi Shirakawa. You want to go there? Not really. Well, then let's go this way. I think I got a little bit turned around here. Kiyosumi Shirakawa. We walked this way before down the shopping street. Eitai Dori. By the way, prepare for getting lost a bit. Oh, it's a red light! Green light! We're trapped. We got in trouble. I'm glad he was there. He saved our lives. Yeah. So don't run when the light t starts flashing green. I thought that meant run. Go! Oh, Peter, check this out. So this Mr. Donuts is the one I always go to. They have a collaboration with Ringo. And I know some of you are... are with Ringo. Ringo. That's one of these really famous apple pie bakeries. Oh, okay. So they've collaborated with them and they bake the apple pie donuts. Oh, what? Yeah. Like delicioso. Oh my god, Tomoko Tomoko, another YouTuber who is obsessed with apple pies. Oh, they got custard on there! Alright, I'll be back. What's that cream stuff? It's, got it's custard. Oh my gosh, those Ringos are so good. They got one at Ikebukuro, there's one in um, near Hibiya, uh, underneath the new um, uh, Midtown, Hibiya Midtown building, in the basement. Oh gosh, there's so many of them. There's a, it's, it's like eating sweet apples and a stick of butter. Ah, WRX Turbo is in the house. Speaking of turbo, are these motorcycles turbos? What do we get again? I, you got a uh, Kawasaki Ninja or something? No, you, yours is a Nissan. No, that's not even a motorcycle. They I don't thought make... it was until like a week ago. All right, maybe that's true. Uh, I'm getting the Yamaha Tracer 900. A Tracer 900 and I got the Honda 400X. That's right. Which are cross, cross bikes. So yeah, we could go well, off-road, but we choose not we to. We will go. We could go off road. All right, here we go. Oh, here it is. The gelataria. Oh, yeah. We can order at the window. Another local business. I love it. Pistachio. 
I think you gotta go Japanese flavors. This Hinako and brown. Ooh, brown sugar honey. Yeah, oh my gosh. Is it brown sugar honey or brown sugar honey? Mango sorbet. Oh, I just got that. Okay. Mie Prefecture Japanese black tea. Interesting. Wow, this is orange all passion fruit sorbet. Shik shikuwasa. I wonder if they do samples. Oh my gosh. What's shikuwasa? I don't know, but. Oh, edamame and tofu. Alright, let's get two little triples. Bit, little uh, sour and well, bitter. She said. Well, I'm not going to share with you because we're dudes that don't share. Edamame and tofu sorbet. Thank you. Okay, I think that should. Cover. I mean, you gave me a thousand yen already. Okay. Yeah. That should cover uh, two triples, so get three and one. Jeez Louise, man. Well, you don't have to eat it all. You want to try it all. So which one, what are the three that entice you? I like... Uh, what do you guys think watching? Kinako brown sugar, honey. All right, so that, that's plus 100, so... Oh, you're gonna need more cash. Right, here's a fiver. All right. It's one of the new 500 yens. I'm gonna try that, and I'm gonna try that. The VA Prefecture Japanese black tea. Joey doesn't share food. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Tartary buckwheat noodle. Buckwheat noodles are what's used for soba. Yeah. That's an interesting milk. flavor. Salty yeah. milk. Let's get stuff that you normally wouldn't get at. Uh, well, I'm going to get the quinoa because I know it's good. This one and then the um, hojicha looks really good. And then uh, the edamame tofu All right. sorbet. All right. Triple. So you order yours. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ah. I tripled it. Hi. Uh, kinako, kuromitsu. Uh, hojicha. Uh, edamame, tofu. Hi. Hi. Sorry, Hi. 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 Oh, Leo. Oh, this one's sold out. Oh, yeah, that one's gone. Cha. Uh, Milk with chocolate chips? I want Japanese type. Oh. Hoji cha. Oh, so he's getting a hoji cha too. Oh, mango. You're getting a business receipt with my money? You, you thief. That's not fair. Well, all right, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't believe you get a business receipt. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, they, they have, um, you can grade up to a cone. I'm gonna go to the club. It's gonna melt. Cone topping. Uh, can I get cone topping? You want a cone topping? Oh, come on, Sai. Sai, 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 Any coins? I just need less sweaty hands. Hi. I believe you put it a business receipt. Doing biz. What is up with that? All right. So this, I, uh, I saw on the map that they had a local. One way to stay cool is to eat ice cream. Gelato is a like a fancy Italian kind of ice cream. It's quite good. This store makes it fresh every morning, which is pretty amazing. And I think they sell, they, they have the shop open until it sells out, I'm not sure. But they make enough uh, based on data or whatever. They don't waste anything, I like that. So I'm pretty excited about this. The Japanese ice cream places, the local ones, always have like Japanese flavors like kinako, which is a roast, roasted soybean powder. But that flavor has such an, a nice like it tastes like this. Like that's the face you'd make with kinako. And with the black kuromitsu, the, just the black honey, maybe like this. So facial expressions are another way to show what something tastes like. Do you have a pizza face? Pizza face is, uh, that'd be pizza face. Um, 
ice cream face I showed you, that donut face. So that's why don't dudes share? That sounds very, you know, Gregory. Okay, we would share because we're hungry. All right, we 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 decide what we want. It has nothing to do with that. We decide what we want. If you want to try it, buy it. Don't get offended, all right? Just making small talk. Come on, Peter. Let the lady work. Right, Nico, it's a primal thing. Come on. Looking into stuff. Everyone wants to get offensive. Is that getting outraged? If that, you know what? Getting outraged, if that makes you watch longer, <laughs> go ahead, get outraged. Report me. So she said on the, they make some of the gelato on the 10th floor of this building. Oh, they make it? Yeah, on the 10th floor. So wasn't that a building bring it upstairs? Bring it back down? So they make it up on the 10th floor of this building. I All of a sudden I have a desire to live in this building. I think it would it would smell like gelato. Duly reported to the taste police. <laughs> Whatever. John, yeah. They've got a refrigerator inside here. They sell. Oh yeah, cups. they sell cups of uh, gelato. I bought them before. It's quite oh, good. You did? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is this is my backyard, or side yard, I guess. I don't know. Backyard is Ginza. Side yard is Monza Nakacho. Mm. You got lots of yards. How many centimeters in a yard? Do you know that? Well, Metric a versus thousand, the... There's a hundred centimeters in a meter, right? Yeah, but a meter is smaller or larger a than a yard. A meter is a little smaller than a yard? No, it's a little longer than a yard. It's a little longer, longer than a yard. Kind of. <laughs> Not exactly know. true. Metric systems is so yeah. much easier. Yeah. I don't know. We're it is, but we're... After you've yeah. been here for a couple of years, you're, you're into the metric. It just can't it's be helped. Way, way more divisible, isn't it? Well, if we never lived in the, if, if we never moved out of the U.S., that system's fine, too. I, did, did you watch that YouTube video I gave you with Virgil? Not yet. I found this video from 1956 of Virgil Earp, which is Wyatt Earp's nephew or something. He was part of the, the Wild West, and he was on that game show, $64,000 question. He was like 90 years old. He's talking about how much did Wired Earp make in a month, and was it wow. was the law was it safer or more dangerous in the Wild West than it was in 1956? And he said it was safer because then everybody, it is yeah, in the 50s when he was filming. This. Yeah, wow. he said the Wild West was safer, but for a lawman, like why would a lawman take that low salary? He says once you're a lawman, you're a lawman. You would, like it was super interesting because we never hear this in the. Well, uh, and, this, and his nephew was born in the, the late 1800s, right? So he knew him. Yeah. I mean, he, First hand. Ah, it's ready. Yeah, so I, I just, I should. Oh, that looks beautiful. Is that mine? That's yours. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, Kinako Kuromitsu, which is black honey on there. There's the edamame, which, does, which is not matcha. And then inside there is probably the uh, third one I ordered, right? Which is the tofu and edamame. Wow. Right. Mm. Well, you got to take a picture with your camera so we can get a thumbnail. Okay. Waffle jams. Let me put this down here. Yeah. Can't eat with a mask on. Kind of angle it. Uh, make sure it's 169. Oh, you can't do that with. Did you get an old phone? This is an old phone. Yeah. Oh, it, hold it, it up higher. No, like we gotta get her. Eye level. All right, you turn it around. Turn it around. A little. Turn it around. Turn well, the camera. Right there. So you get a little bit of the shop, a little bit of the street, which is more interesting. Why is your stuff always up front? All right, you're not taking a picture. I'm gonna take liberties. Here we go. Here we go. 
Actually, can you take video? Because that's 69. I don't want to crop it. I thought you were saying 69. Screenshot that. If, if, if you guys want a, a thumbnail, I'm, I'm going to sell you that. That's why I did this, so people can send me a copy later. It's Minecraft scary. gelato. All right, it's Minecraft. Let's move, let's move to another area. Oh, it's mounting. We got it. Peter. Peter. I was getting some tissues. I have to take you to where the signal's strong enough out here, and then we can eat this where I usually eat the donuts. Oh my gosh, it's melting. Peter, hurry up. Melting. I have some ice cream. Got some ice cream. I'm gonna eat it all. I'm gonna eat all ice cream. Wanna lick? Psych. <laughs> I have some ice cream. I have some ice cream. I'm gonna eat it all. I eat ice cream. I eat it right now. Ice cream, ice cream, you scream, ice cream. Wanna look? There's an officer of the law there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. with the flavors of the ice cream and the fumes from the cars. Just go off of that policeman the bike. No, he yelled at me. It's me getting a copyright complaint now. Is that like a sitting made me pepper right there it made me too hard what so this is the kinako kinako um hachimitsu and then edamame and i guess inside there is going to be the tofu flavored Slight. I think the uh, Kinako Kuramitsu 
Let you watch Porky's either, right? Yeah, Porky's was off. Fast Times of Ridge Mock High. Oh, what? She wouldn't let me watch that. That was the best. That's the. I, well, I look don't how know. you turned out. Your yeah. parents let you watch it? No, they didn't let me watch it, but I watched it anyway. See, I was a law abiding son. I'd never heard of Led Zeppelin in, until um, Fast Times of Ridge Mount High. What? Is that true? Yeah. Then Zeppelin 4, Stairway to Heaven, put the, or Kashmir, put that on and the girls will, the girls will love you. My brother-in-law is the world's biggest Led Zeppelin fan. Yeah. Does he have memorabilia? Oh, my God. He's friend who also shared his love with Led Zeppelin. I traveled to England for a concert. Oh, wow. Customized license plate. Yeah. Oh, his license plate says CEPP? Wow. Oh, man, it's all melted. It's perfect. Is that Ron Dania? Yeah, Brad Danny is here. Punching it out. How 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 hot is Hawaii? I always think Hawaii is gonna be very hot. Right? Well, the, you know, this still has more flavor than ice cream, but less flavor than. Do you have any? Oh, my tissue jumps. Take it out of there. I have a new mask. <laughs> I use a face mask. So which way is our bikes? Uh, this way. Okay. Back. So that's a nice little snack. I'm going to get you uh, lunch. Yes, please. Next. Drop some garbage. More sugar? No. Add to your laundry list of other issues. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm uh, shaky now. Wait till I have the more sugar. But somebody told me um, Putin's got a shaking problem. Somebody told me. No. Yeah. Not, no. It's, it's just hard to hard to know what's going on over there. Yeah, you can just chuck it there. They don't know if you're... Where? Oh, right inside here? Yeah, just go inside the back and chuck it where the customers right the are. All right, can you hold that? Yeah, I buy it, you throw it away. That's the deal. It's fair. Do it quickly so they don't know it's not their trash. While he's doing that, let, let me look at the... Um... Oh, that's too easy. There's a trash can. And you alcoholed your hands? Mm-hmm. Let's walk. Not fair. Does alcohol cut down the sugars in the? Oh, it actually. My hands. Kind of... Let's just say if I grip the bike handle, I'm not gonna be able to let go for a while. <laughs> Gelato hands. It could be a new Johnny Depp movie. 
he gets gelato all over the blades and they start sticking together. <laughs> Somebody wrote delinquents. Are you referring to us, sir? <laughs> uh, it's, better, it's better than getting in trouble and, and, you know, breaking a window or something like Lou Gehrig did when he was playing baseball. Broke a lot of windows with that mighty swing. Wait, how do we cross? Our bikes are this way, Peter. How do we cross the street here? Can we? There's a cop over there. No, we got to go here. I don't want to. He's, he's way down. No, they got like eagle vision. That's all right. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm not. Peter, no, 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 no. Mr. Goody, too. I just too. saved your life. Do you understand? Well, I just. There's a gelato saved... shop right here. Oh. You're going to give him your criticism? After all that nice sincerity that that girl gave you, you're gonna knock her. I thought the edamame was excellent, and to have truth, that, that way you pick up the game. That's right, truth. Truth is good, but a little bit weak. The kinako kuromitsu, the edamame was really spot on. I thought I could really taste the uh, green uh, in that. The hojicha a little bit too weak. Again, yeah. hojicha should have a much stronger, more acidic taste i think um but I, I and what was the other one that you got that was different than mine i got the kuromitsu the oh at the mie prefecture uh, ah, black tea uh, the black tea and that, that was, has to be stronger that was forgettable okay yeah both the tea ones were failed both both teas failed just a little bit more tea in there mr t it should be a mr t instead of a tea i think a little stronger Eitaibashi is this way. It's one of my favorite bridges. Nice blue with the neon lights streaming along the sides of it. Really pops in the evenings. They turn the lights on around 7.30 p.m. Sunset is earlier here than in the U.S. because we don't have daylight savings time. The result is that the sunrise is like at 4.45 in Tokyo, a little bit earlier up there in Hokkaido. And you have uh, these crazy dreams of seeing the sunrise. That's true. From, uh, where is it? It's up East Far East Point. Nemuro? Is it Nemuro? Oh, Nemuro, yeah. That'll be good. We're camping there. We're camping on Japan's well, easternmost point, four kilometers away from Russia. Or Russian claimed land, although we... Sakhalin? No. Sakhalin. No, that's on the other that's side. The north. The north. Hello. Wakanai? Wakanai. 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 It's different pronunciation. A joke joke doesn't resonate you gotta speak louder into the mic peter you gotta provide me with a microphone yeah it's right there so yeah well one week out and uh, again thank you guys very much for your support thus far very much appreciate it and we're uh, super excited to get this going um so stay tuned for more updates in the week to come. Oh and right, yeah. We're, <coughs> just shout out the festival is still going. <coughs> the festival is still going on here, uh, August fourteenth. So I'll, I'll be here for that. I think. Oh no, I won't. I'm gonna be um, traveling. I'm, I got a location shoot uh, down near um, Kansai. So oh. as soon as we come back, I'm I'm here for a couple of days, and I'm I'm off for a four, a four day shoot. Wow. Which is crazy. Will uh, Kanai and Leo join you? No, they will not. Well, Leo is staying see. home from school, so he doesn't get sick, so I don't get sick, so we can continue with this trip. Although, if, if we did get sick, we have a September as a fallback. Yeah. Can, can, can we change the reservation? I guess we'd be able to do it, right? If we're sick, yeah, I think they're... The flight, we'd have to eat that cost. The flights. They won't allow you, even if you're sick? I think you get... <clears throat> well, I have a friend who had to cancel his flight uh, back to Canada, and no, they wouldn't refund his tickets. So basically, don't fly Air Canada, first of all. Second, they wouldn't refund, uh, no, he, he, had, he had a massive $1,000 rebooking fee. Wow. That's not that fair. Is. Look, this, this pigeon's a lot more popular. He's got friends all around him. He's all puffed up, too. That means crazy. business. Let them be. It's a three of them too. It's got two on its on its plate. Do pigeons are they like like lions where they where the males fight over it? So. How do they know whose kid is whose? Like, is it when it's, it's the smells. egg hatch and you can tell? How do you know that Leo's yours? Yeah, because he's smart. 
like spicy <laughs> foods and he's eating my pizza all the time now. That's gotta be, it's gotta be mine. If it was all Japanese, he wouldn't like the pizza maybe as much. He's licking his fingers. That's a terrible habit. I do that. Yeah. And here's our baby bike. Where's my Get my key, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, you want the ba the green one now? Yes. Yeah, John's stuffed me with his black one going I don't up think the hills so. and stuff. I gave you a choice. You want black or green? You said black. You yeah, got a black you, like, bike. Yeah, but you like channeled. You channeled some sort of sneaky Star Wars energy field to make me say black. Yeah, I want to say green. No, you. Whenever oh, it's, it's this one. Whenever you. Whenever there's a, I knew whenever there's a choice of color and black is one of them, you pick black. So is that the right key? Yes, that's the oh, this key is this one. one. There you go. So Leo sits wow. here, but we have a front thing where he likes to sit in the front. And we can keep an eye on him, but he's getting big enough where he can sit in the back more. You put him in this. No, in the no, it's in a, it's the detachable. Bag. The front seat. I hit my knees oh. onto it sometimes, but I think I can lift it up a, a few more centimeters. Heidi two, it's called. Yeah, Heidi, H-Y-D-E-E, -E. it's a Bridgestone. All right, guys, let, let's sign off here, Peter. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, for those that are supporting the project, really appreciate it. The screen was sort of bright, so I couldn't see a lot of the chats that came in. We'll check them later. Let's we'll check them a little bit later. T Toronto is currently the worst airport in the world. <laughs> Did you see the pictures of all the luggage that was lost in Western airports? No. It looks like like two football fields of just random luggage. Oh man. In, mostly in Europe. Nightmare. So Toronto is Nightmare. getting some uh, competition there. I had a, uh, a Patreon backer. I was doing the um, the stamps, what do you call them? The zombie, what, what do you call the, the uh, zombie anime uh, series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was really popular. It was cool that they got the stamps. I can't remember the name of that anime for some reason. But somebody at Canada Post ripped off the stamp because it's like this so a super cool item stamp. Or something. Yeah, what? he ripped off the stamp of this Patreon backer and he sent and he delivered the postcard without the stamp. So he got the postcard without the stamp and I was really upset and I said, do you, I'm, do you want me to send you another one? He goes, no, 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 because it was just too funny that off. Canada Post, so, uh, wow. no other post office would do that except maybe, uh, no, that, that was pretty low. A postal can't worker, can, Canadian post service. Could oh, be oh any... the Japanese postal man ripped it <laughs> off. It's either Canada or. The... Well, but an American postal service would probably do the same thing. No, I've never seen. Send a, do, a, do a test. Send one of these little cute little alien anime stamps to an American human post error, office. Human error, maybe not so much. Machine error, very very prevalent in the USPS system. Mm -hmm. Half the postcards get, um, not half. I'd say like five percent will have. A, um, streaks because it uh, runs the machine too, too fast. fast yeah yeah, yeah. Um, one one in every 200 gets a, a, a tear so I have to send a new one yeah and okay. if you didn't if you have a damaged postcard that's too bad let me know I'll send you another one Richard has pledged 1,500 yet thank you Richard thanks and Richard postcard I think that's very cool yeah cheers Arigato. Arigato. all right guys see you uh, see you uh, later we're going back to check out the microphone we have to unlock stuff. these bikes there well, no, I mean it's, it's it's we have to pay to unlock it right it's a paid the, try taking it out i, I think it's two hours no it's locked. What the heck? all right find the number 94 and 81. and 81. 81 they make me pay this i swear to god i gave you all my coins too peter Yeah. Sometimes it's better to park illegally. It says here it's, um, oh, it's a hundred yen. Gosh, they're shaking me down. Do you have a hundred yen coin? Cause I gave you all my change. And, and guess what? You're not getting a receipt for this. Oh, and by the way, everybody, please check out Homicide Inc. Homicide Inc. True Crime Podcast. If you're into true crime, have a look. See. Got a new, new uh, episode coming out shortly. 100 yen. How much is it?
The official seat. Is it? You're going to use this for your taxes now, too? First push to 81. Kakunin, yeah. Okay, let's go. I don't need to receive it. Bother with 100 yen receipt. You make Kanai angry. Give me a receipt for 100 yen? Bridgestone makes some of the most popular bicycles in Japan right now. And uh, actually, you know, for the first 10, 10 years that I lived in Japan, I didn't know that Bridgestone was a Japanese company. It, it doesn't sound like it would be, but it comes from. Uh, Ishi no Hashi or something. And then they changed it over eventually to Bridgestone because they wanted to hit a foreign market and bada bing bada boom. It's a pretty big bicycle company as well as tire company. I think they're using Panasonic batteries. I'm not sure. Right here. Dude. You, hey, you know what? If you want it, you seem to be subliminally attracted to the other bicycle with no battery. He doesn't want this one because it doesn't have a battery. It's harder for him to ride. He was huffing and puffing, that's why. Now, you don't even know how to turn the battery on and I'm not gonna tell you. Yes, I do. Oh, God. All right, everybody, there you go. Um, see you later. <laughs> Catch you on the other side. Uh, we'll do another live stream tomorrow, at least I will, and uh, uh, find something interesting. But stay cool. If you find some gelato, let me know how it goes because ours is not too bad. I thought it was better than Peter's. Bye, everybody.